tighter as we get later into the evening, uh, but still there'll be something around till about 12 o'clock at night, and then we'll be dry going into tomorrow. Still a question as to how much low cloud cover, or maybe even a few areas of patchy fog start to form as we head towards tomorrow morning. There is a Lakeshore flood advisory uh, that is in effect for Sandlack and St. Clair counties, and that's until 10 o'clock tonight. We still have north winds, and at least on Lake Huron, those uh, lake levels are still at record levels, and we'll talk more about those numbers coming up on Local 4 News at 5. Otherwise, wind speeds are about 10 to 15 miles an hour uh, closer to the city, so you add that into those cooler temperatures, which are in the 60s in some places, 65 in Pontiac right now. Flint and Lapeer also at that number, Port Huron 64, and then south of 8 Mile, finally tapping into some of those 70s. Uh, Is Isaias has made some serious progress. Remember, yesterday at this time, we were still talking about a potential landfall in the Carolinas. This thing is already into New York State. It's moving to the north northeast at 40 miles per hour. Still is a tropical storm, but will become a low as we move into Thursday, and then it is Canada's problem at that point. Low temperatures tonight will get your attention. It is going to be another cool one. 50s all around, with the exception of maybe a couple 60s there from uh, Clinton Township down to the city. South zone lows tonight will be in the 50s, especially out in Lenawee County. We're looking at 54 in Marinci. West zone lows maybe as low as 53 in a couple spots. We'll call it 54 in Howell and Fenton. And North zone also on the cool side tonight. 53 in North Branch and Yale, Lexington, Sandusky, all at that number. Most of the zone there in the mid 50s. 75 is where we're going tomorrow, so still on the cool side of things, but we slowly start to heat up. 80 start moving in here on Friday, Karen, and the humidity will spike again on Sunday. Could be close to 90 on Monday, so that the rest of summer, uh, we still have multiple weeks to go, and it will feel like it towards the back of that forecast. We'll be ready for it. All right, thank you, Ben. Yep. Still ahead.